Hello indie game fans, I have a nice mix of 1.0 releases, updates, DLCs and surprise releases in this video, so check it out to see what you can play right now. Let's begin with Dungeons of Indira, a third person action roguelite that launched out of early access, being quite an interesting entry that is worth a play. This is almost Souls-like combat with how deliberate your weapon swings are, with a fun system that utilizes stackable wounds which are the upgrades within the run. There have been more third-person entries in the space, where a side effect of that is a little bit of jank, but given how relatively novel this concept is, it's worth checking out. A very pleasant puzzle game is Freshly Frosted, where you operate a donut factory in the clouds, having to design the conveyors and machines such that they are perfectly frosted, with its closest comparison being Automa Chef, which is a game that I like as well. This video is brought to you by Bloodline Heroes of Lithas, a mobile gacha RPG and kingdom simulator, so the usual caveats apply, where this is launching today. This has you playing as the High Guardian of the City of Light, with the mission of protecting and restoring it to its former glory. Combat looks like an auto battler, where you're able to trigger abilities strategically to turn the tide of battle with fairly common hero roles such as warrior, tank, mage, assassin and marksman, and character races such as lycans, demons, elves and more. The unique hook in this game is the Bloodline Hereditary system, where heroes can pass down their strengths, traits and skills to the next generation, hence the tagline, New Legends Will Be Born. If it looks good, do check it out via the link in the description below or the QR code on screen and use this code for some bonuses worth $20. With a new update for the roguelite monster taming RPG Abomination, which is a little underrated, but this has a crossover with bug fables of all games which is interesting, with the common through line being that they have the same publisher. Hey everybody, Carl here, developer of Abomination. I'm finally ready to share with you all the latest content update coming to the game. As usual, the update will come with new items, moves, and abilities, but most importantly, it will come with new Abomies this time with a whopping 22 new ones to discover throughout your runs. This brings the current Abami total up to 152. <clears throat> anyway, with that being the final number, I am... Um... Wait, what was this? That's right, enemies from Bug Fables the Everlasting Sapling have started appearing in a bomby nation. You can now fight the Dark Spirit with your favorite seedling or the very appropriately named a bomby honey. This crossover even includes brand new original designs by the Bug Fables development team themselves. You'll be able to play with all 22 new Abomies plus the 10 Bug Fables guest Abomies right now in this free update. An impressive colony sim currently in early access is Noble Fates, where the latest update is titled Love and Elves adding the mythical race to this game in addition to humans and orcs, with the elves being more suited for hunting and crafting rather than melee combat, but are at odds with the orcs. The love and marriage system adds another layer to this simulation, even feeding into the overall strategic portion where you can arrange marriages to forge stronger alliances, being a great update to a fantastic game. 
with a good narrated trailer for The Hand of Merlin, so enjoy. From the engineers of the Talos Principle and Sirius Sam, and written by Jonas and Verena Kiritsis. Turn-based roguelike, The Hand of Merlin, leaves early access and comes to console. Master the tactics of turn-based combat. Or face your demise. Choose your path. And forge your destiny. But the journey ahead is unforgiving. The farther you go, the greater challenge awaits. Learn from failure. path to victory. I think I missed out on the release of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 or Oops, where this is a sandbox simulation title that simply allows you to throw masses of humanity against each other and to see what happens. Somehow, the developers were able to place a ton of units on the screen which is pretty epic, being the same type of fun as Landfall's totally accurate battle simulator with its share of wacky bits as you will see later in the trailer. A curious little game is Summum Eterna, which, if you've been subscribed to the channel since last year, will be familiar to you due to the title, since yes, indeed, this is a spin-off of the Metroidvania Eterna Noctis from December last year. While with spots a similar visual style, and perhaps reuses some assets, I cannot fault them since this is actually pretty clever, turning it into a roguelite platformer that does look pretty impressive. It is the prequel to the main game, 
where you play as the King of Darkness at the height of his power before his demise, exploring and fighting your way to the end of the world. However, the developer did surprise release this on the 16th of June, which is in the middle of the Steam Nyx festival which is never a great idea, so perhaps it got buried, so here's hoping that this video can give it a little push. We have an awesome narrated trailer for Oli Oli World Void Riders, so enjoy as well. The citizens of Radlandia are accustomed to the fantastic and the spectacular. But nothing could prepare them for this. Coming this summer, the game critics have called a candy-coated dream. Blisteringly good, gorgeous, and goofy, Ali Ali World gets its first Far Out Expansion. The Void Riders have landed, bringing fantastical new areas to shred. It's a close encounter of the Void kind. Skate me to your leader. Ali Ali World, Void Riders. Available now. One of the best recent examples of an early access title is Call Keeper, a co-op sandbox simulation that has vibes similar to Terraria but is top-down, releasing the Sunken Sea update which is very good. The first major update comes about 3 months after launch, adding a new biome, plants, fish, ore, enemies and even a new titan boss battle. The key highlights that the community have been asking for were sprinklers and teleporters, which are in this update, with it already getting an astonishing 10,000 Steam reviews as of recording, so with more updates to come, I see this getting even bigger, taking the number one spot. For more games like Terraria or relaxing titles, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.